this is the plan this is the plan I have now and I want this side this particular side where the pillars are I want the roof to be raised up so what, what I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna go back to 3d to see how everything looks like so this is what it looks like and what I want next now is uh, to draw to draw this let me draw it out I'm just gonna go back to wall to and I want the walls to be right here I'm going to go back to 3D to see how it looks like. So it looks like this. But I want them to be to be up to be at the upper part of the pillar. So I click and I'm gonna click on the three of them. Two and three. And I'm gonna drag it up. I'm just gonna click and drag up. And I'm going to drag it there so I'm gonna have this but because of I already made this already in my drawing so you will need initially it's gonna it's going to look like this when you are drawing it it's going to look like this coming it's going to look like this when you're drawing it so what you do is click on all the three edges you know the three walls then it yeah you click the suspend groups and click the bottom and click on this stretch height and drag it up over there what i want next now is um i want to raise i want to raise uh this the ones are pillars i want to raise them up so what i do next is just click on this and tick say um, suspend groups Click on this and I'm just going to drag it up to some reasonable height. Let me see, this is 2500 before. Let me use 1000. Okay. Then what I want to do next now is uh, I'm going to use a uh, concrete fissure on the houses. back to 3d and I'm going to click on it remove the suspend groups and I'm going to select uh, the above story to be first story so it's gonna go up it's gonna look like so it's gonna look like this but because I don't need this I don't need this I'm going to remove this I'm going to remove this also. I'm going to remove that and remove this. Well, because I can't remove that, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to stretch. I'm going to have to stretch it. Which is good. And this is my 3D now. 
I'm also having to cut this, but it's not gonna cut, so I'm just going to go to story. But if you notice something, the block I raised up isn't is too low for the kind of join I'm making. It's close to the concrete fissure. So what I want to do next now, I'm just gonna place the roof. I'm going to drag all this up, up in the upper part. I'm going to click on all the blocks, all the walls, and select suspend groups. Click on it and extend it up a little bit. Somewhere there. What I want to do next now is I want to place the concrete fissure on on the blocks. But as you can see, you can see this by the block is open. So what I want to do is extend the block inside the roof. I go back to 3D and my blocks are inside the building now as you can see they are all inside the building and what is next that I want to do now the concrete fissure I'm going to place the concrete fissure on the top part of the of all this that's from where the block is and uh, just go back to what you've designed click on the concrete fissure I want to place them on I want to place them on the on the on the wall now click down there and just drag it up there so it looks like this so I'm going to create a mind you you have to create a rectangle roof for this uh, for this uh, building a rectangle roof
Can go back to 3D. And let's view the let's see what I've let's see what I've done. Okay. So I'm going to have to put do some settings. And we're having we're having this it doesn't blend it to what doesn't blend it to what you want right so now what we're going to do is go back to the plan and we're going to edit this roof we're going to edit it so when i click on that particular node i'm going to click the stretch horizontal ridge and i'm just going to stretch it to that edge there I'm going to do the same thing for the for for the rest of them. Stretch it there. Then go back to 3D and see what you've done. Okay, this is accurate. Uh, not completely accurate. This is good. As you can see, that's why I said you have to stretch your roof. So what I'm going to do next now is uh, I need to stretch. I need to stretch this roof enough to somewhere like there, and this so I'm going to stretch this inside. I'm going to stretch this inside. Then go back to 3D and see what you've done. I want to make sure. I'm not seeing any point of okay as you can see this side is a as the problem but this is this is good this is inside already this is inside already so it remains this side as you can see it's fixed properly in make sure you always check some of the some of on your roof make sure you check the the um concrete fissure on the roof check how it looks like in 3d so that you know you're not making any mistakes like all these edges they are not they are not really closed up they are opened so you just go back to the to the uh, roof plan you drag you drag a uh, concrete fissure enough inside you just drag it in as you can see i make sure you go back to our uh, elevation to check how the roof looks like. I'm sure I'm not making any mistake or any holes or in anywhere. So as you can see, this is what you get. And this is easiest way you can make different uh, roof. You can also make this one to be shorter, and this one to be longer. I don't know. It's your design. You design the way you want to design it.